It is 11 minutes past seven. Right, I have so many questions for them and our political commentators are standing by to pull apart every single answer they give us. Joining me now is the leader of the Labour Party, Andrew Little, and co-leader of the Greens Materia 2, Ray. Good morning to you both. Kia ora. Kia ora. All right, <laughs> OK, I'm going to come to you first of all, Materia. Um, what does it even mean, your announcement yesterday, what is the point of it, what does it mean for a voter? We, uh, Labour and the Greens, have told the country that we are committed to changing the government at 2017 and that we will work together to that aim. And that's really important for us to send that very clear message to all our voters and supporters that changing the government is a collective priority for both our parties uh, and we do everything we can to make that happen okay, so and until... we are building support for that. All right, so Andrew, up until now, everyone has known it has been an individual priority for all of your parties. Now it is a collective priority, which actually doesn't add anyone else to the group, does it? I mean, this only works for you if you can increase the sum total of your parts, and I don't see how, how that will happen. Uh, well, I think what a lot of people have been looking for is the confidence that they see opposition parties able to work together, give them the confidence to get in behind it. This is, this is an agreement between us and the Greens. It's not exclusive. As I said yesterday, it's, it's not a monogamous relationship. We welcome any other political party there that shares the objective of changing the government in 2017. So, but, so basically what you're telling me is nothing has actually changed at all. This was a Clayton's announcement. Nothing you've told me actually changes anything. No, it, actually what the agreement does is confirm what, what has been happening the last uh, few months, which is a greater degree of cooperation and coordination between the Greens around Parliament and on issues to do with that, but also now starting to, to get together, not, not to, to kind of share policies, we, we will each have our own policies, but to campaign together in a way that we're not tripping over each other, we're not sort of sending mixed signals, that we're sending a very clear signal to New Zealand that we are two parties who are determined to change the government in 2017 and will work together to achieve that end. Materia, are you, are you prepared to stand yeah. candidates aside in some electorates to help Labour get in? Uh, we are, the, the MOU allows us to have a very open conversation about that. We haven't, we haven't gone there yet. This is the first step. I mean, what we want to do here is tell New Zealanders really transparently that we want to present and will present a credible and progressive alternative. But that's a yes, isn't it? Didn't you 17. just say yes to me, so, basically? Yep. So we will have we will have conversations about the election campaign in time. But, but, that but is so yet what to you're happen. telling me is the no, first step is telling people that we're going to be working together. Okay. But you, well, but you Sorry, must have had before you made this announcement. You must have some of these conversations already, or it wouldn't be an announcement's bottom, would it? Um, no, so we've actually been. <laughs> No, what we've been doing actually for the last 18 months is working very closely with uh, Andrew and his leadership team to get to know each other better. Of course, we have a new co-leader with James Shaw and the Greens and a new uh, leader of Labour with right. Andrew. So that our, our time has been spent working together, building a better relationship and working relationship between our parties. Okay. And we want the public to know that really openly, which is why we presented this MOU. OK, but the public want to know what difference this makes. That's all I'm trying to, I'm trying to ascertain. Are you then prepared to stand candidates aside to help Labour in electorates? We will have those conversations in time. But that's a yes, uh, isn't it? This is the first step. Well, the, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. We will have those conversations. I don't know whether we will agree to that yet or not, but we will have those conversations. Okay, you're and nodding like, you're not, nodding the like they will, Andrew. You're nodding like they will. No, no <laughs> I'm, I'm agreeing with Matera that we are yet to have those conversations. Yeah. So part of it, the, the overall objective here is change the government in 2017. We'll work together to do that. They, they, we will talk about okay. speech of campaign, <laughs> strategies, tactics, all that sort of stuff. So we're yet to have that conversation. OK. Um, you know, Andrew, as well as everybody else in this country, that Winston hates the Greens. Are you sending That's the message to true, Winston? Paul. No, no, Materia, That's I'm sorry, true. and I hate to say it in front of you, but it is actually true. It's not true. OK. Not true. Um, are you sending a message well, to Winston? Winston denied that in Parliament, actually, a couple of months ago, <laughs> Paul, after that. Yeah, but Winston I believe it when he, he said it the first time, not when he denied it the second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you sending a message to New Zealand First voters to say that's it? We're, we, you know, you're not going to you're not going to form a government with us. No, not at all. The, the agreement has been very clear. Um, we've been very clear. And when I told Winston about the agreement on Monday night, I said this is not an exclusive agreement, uh, and we will work with any other political party okay. that shares our objective of changing the government in 2017. Andrew, if you become Paul, prime minister, Greens, if I won't be second material, I'm going to ask a question about you now. Um, Andrew, if you become prime minister, will material be deputy? 
Well, we haven't had that discussion. There's, no. one, there's one thing we're agreed on is that Grant Robertson will be finance minister. Everything else is you know, basically depends on what the voters decide at the general election. We, you know, we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. This well, you have, because you've said, you've said Grant Robertson will, will be... Why has he taken yes, precedence so that, over that, the current leaders of the Greens? Yes, so that was the... So that was the exception. That wasn't the saying of one thing and denying a minute later. That was the exception. No, the I know, but why was that so the we exception? Said, we said, yeah, are you, is we, Grant Robertson more important than you are? Uh, I want to be very clear that uh, we are fine with Grant Robertson being um, the finance minister um, under a Labour-led government. And we will talk with Labour about the post-election arrangements once we've seen um, how the votes turn out. But the, and that's the point. We want to make sure New Zealanders know when they're voting at the election in 2017, they have two very clear choices. One is a stale national government that has injured families and done terrible things to our environment. It mm. is no longer fit to be in this position. Or a credible, progressive alternative uh, that is Labour, Greens and possibly others who will provide the real solutions for the things that New Zealand's new, the issues that New Zealand okay, face. Okay, so that is what we're providing for 2017. Your supporters, and you have die-hard supporters, Materia, your supporters want to know, why have you done this to them? Why have you sold them out to them? So they need to know there's an upside in this. So does this mean that if... if if a government is formed with Andrew Little as the Prime Minister, then you are guaranteed a number of seats around the Cabinet table. Your supporters want to know what's All in it for the, them. No, that's actually our supporters want to know that when they vote at the 2017 election, they are voting for a credible and progressive alternative government. Now, what that looks like is still yet to be decided, and we will, we will make those decisions after the election. But what our voters are telling us, telling me, is they want to know that they have a genuine choice. And what we're saying now is there will be one absolutely because this is what from this point on we are clear that we will put credible and progressive alternative for 2017 and it may include other parties I mean actually the Greens and New Zealand First have been getting on very well over the last few mm, years good. we work together on the manufacturing inquiry uh, we support each other in the house so I really think this is about uh, a new way a new MMP um, potential okay. for New Zealand that will address the issues that New Zealanders are facing right now okay Andrew if um, if the numbers have it in in favour of New Zealand First, if you don't need the Greens, if it becomes awkward, will you shaft the Greens to form a government with New Zealand First? Well, this agreement is about as a demonstration of our, our working together. Yeah, but would you shaft our the Greens? And confidence. I mean, and, and, so and, to your, and, to your supporters, and, to Labour supporters, will you, if you get the numbers and you can do it with New Zealand First without the Greens, will you shaft them? Well, the, the nature of the NMP is in every government since 1996 has shown you need as broad a possible arrangement in government as you possibly can, and that's the same principle. Yeah, that but was that a yes or a no? It's a bit hard to work out. Well, no, no, you have a broader government as possible. This is trust and confidence between Labour and the Greens, yes. and actually trust and confidence between voters and Labour and the Greens as well. Okay. And so we're, we're working on that. If, if, I, if I am privileged to have the opportunity to form a government after the next election, I would want as broad a government as possible. Okay. If, um, same question to you, Materia. If National come to you mm. um, after the election and they actually have a better deal for the environment than Labour, will you shaft Labour? We are committed to changing the government. National um, has uh, left New Zealanders living in their cars rather than dealing with the housing crisis, allowed the pollution of our waterways, allowed the climate pollution. We will not tolerate a government that does so much harm to our country anymore. And you so have, we are committed you, so to changing the government. So that is definitive. That is definitive. You have, definitive. You have completely ruled out shafting Labour. Look, our party makes the final decision later next year, but I am telling you now, our 100% commitment is to changing this government because they are so terrible for this country. Uh, Andrew Little, Materia Toure, thank you both very much for joining. Pleasure to have you on the programme this thank morning. You. Thank you. Together. Uh, right, 20 minutes past seven.